I'm rehearsing for some live shows. I started playing the acoustic guitar at the age of six. My father used to play at home for fun and I learned by watching him play. I lived in a rough neighborhood at the time and my mom didn't let, it, didn't let me out at all. So the only thing to do was to strum my dad's old guitar. I met Paul back in 88 at a bar in North London uh, and we had a little chat that evening. I also knew John, one of the original members of Battlezone from a band I used to be in called Gangland UK. John had some rehearsals with us for the Japanese project we were invited to participate. It, it was a compilation album called Metal for Mothers 92. It was released in Japan through Pony Canyon. No, I did not. John Wiggins, Bo Diano and myself went drinking one night. Uh, they'd heard a soundtrack I had recorded for a horror movie. So that night, they asked me if I wanted to join Battlezone. It was the third incarnation of the band. Well, it was great. It was winter time and we were in a little village near Salisbury called, um, I think it was Oldborn. The studio was called Stable Studio and it belonged to Nick James, who was a rock and roll star in the 60s. Nick had worked with John Bonham and Elton John, among other famous artists. So, Nick was always there making sure we were comfortable and we had everything we needed to make a great album. Paul is one of the greatest metal vocalists of all time. I have no doubt about that. He has such a powerful voice and comes up with great melodies. The whole lineup were just fantastic musicians. As far as touring the album is concerned, I think we could have played more. There were a few places we could have played, uh, but, we, but we, we didn't, you know. But that's water under the bridge. The lineup was Paul Diano, the founder of Battlezone and Exire Maiden on vocals, Colin Riggs, ex Tokyo Blade on bass guitar, Mark Angel, also ex Tokyo Blade on drums, John Wiggins, another founder of Battlezone and ex Tokyo Blade on guitar and myself coming from the underground metal scene of London on guitar. Yes, I did. Paul and I wrote and recorded the album Nomad. Well, after a long time just writing stuff, doing recording sessions and being a guitar teacher, 
I plan to go back playing live. I was heavily influenced by the British hard rock bands from the 70s, especially Sabbath, Purple and Zeppelin. Later, I got into heavy metal and thrash metal. I'm also into fusion players like Tony McAlpine and Greg Howe. There are so many bands and musicians that I like. The list is too long to mention. I like Queensryche and Megadeth, just to mention a couple of bands. I think a good piece of advice to new bands is do not waste any time talking bad behind the backs of other members or other members of your band. Just work hard on the music and the live performance. Thank you.